Hey guys, welcome back to the business of art. Today we're going to talk about the various ways to sell your artwork. And to start with, we're going to talk about original paintings, selling your original paintings. First of all, there's online. And online breaks down into a few different categories. The first being social media. So that would be selling on your Facebook, your Instagram, on Pinterest, anywhere like that. Then there would be a store such as Etsy, you know, Fine Art America, Redbubble, even eBay. Okay, and there's those stores. And then there could be obviously your own website, creating your own website to sell your artwork. Those are several ways to sell online. And I'm just talking about avenues at this point in time. All right. Then there are the one-on-one -on -one in person sales. Now that opens up a lot more that opens up farmers markets and art fairs, of course, and then you're hosting an art show and also uh, gallery showings. So actually going to a gallery and those are a lot of the in-person ways to sell your artwork. Then there's what I call the third <laughs> way, uh, which is via prints and merchandise. All right, it is totally up to you if you want to go this third route. I like it because it allows you to potentially 10X your income from one painting. Say you create a painting and you sell it for $1,000. Great, you get $1,000 from that painting. But what if you could then also sell 10 prints that are $50 each, that's another $500, and then you can sell um, tote bags, coffee mugs, and greeting cards, let's just say, and make an additional $500 off of that, let's just say. Plus, it's something you can keep selling for the rest of your life. So these are all different options, right? And, and it's totally up to you, like I said, if you want to go that route. Now, which of the first two that you choose, the online or the in-person, is also totally up to you, of course. Do you like to talk to people? Do you like to socialize, meet people? Are you very outgoing? Then route number two may be very good for you. And of course you can do both. I personally do all three. But if you had to choose one, like if you're not outgoing, you don't really like to socialize, you, you know, you can totally do route number one, which allows you to not really talk that much to people and still sell your artwork. That being said, with any of the rounds, with anything you are ever selling, you have to have communication. You will not possibly be able to sell something without communication. It's literally not possible. Now that being said, someone else can do the communication for you. So let's say you have a child or a spouse who's willing to sell your artwork for you or someone that can represent you. That is, of course, something you can do. All right, so let's go a little bit more into selling artwork online and the upsides and downsides of that. I recommend that everyone sell art through their social media. That I think is your best place to start because that's where all your friends and family are gonna be. That's where you probably have already built up a network without even knowing it. So it just becomes a telling people that, hey, I'm an artist and building a name for yourself as an artist, as well as building up your business pages. We went over building up your Facebook page in a few different videos. Make sure you are working on that, it's really important. And th then we went up over building up Instagram, Pinterest, and uh, Twitter. So I would recommend getting those as well. We will also go into setting those up, the technicalities of it, in a later video. but all of them build all of your social media up and you need to create this network then there is of course etsy fine art america etc here's the thing i get asked all the time is deviant art a good store or is fine art america a good store or is a block you know it's not going to matter they're literally all going to be basically the same and you're not going to sell anything on them if nobody knows who you are those stores don't sell themselves. I had an Etsy store 
back in 2014 and I never sold a thing from it. Mind you, I didn't do a lot of work on it, <laughs> uh, but I put a few items up and they didn't sell. Shocker, because those stores don't sell for you. They're literally a place to put your items so that you can sell them. And unless you have created a name for yourself or you're, you know, you're on social media otherwise and you tell people go buy my art on Etsy and they know to look for it, it's pretty unlikely that you're going to out of the blue build up an Etsy store. It can totally be done. It's just a lot more arduous and long, I think. And I don't really know the technicalities of how to like boom an Etsy store overnight. Personally, there's probably people that teach lessons on that. I don't know. So I would definitely create a store so you have a place to send people, uh, but work on building up relationships and building a name for yourself on your other social media. Then there are, of course, the, the art shows and things like that. Those are super fun. We're going to have a video coming up shortly on how to put on your own art show. Otherwise, uh, you can approach local coffee shops and talk to the owners and be like, hey, can I hang my art in here? That is a really, really easy way. Most of the time, they're going to go, yeah, sure, no problem. And then, boom, automatically your art's showing. Then there are art fairs. Those you generally have to apply for, and it's going to be a couple hundred dollars. The good thing about that is you're going to automatically have a public of thousands and thousands of people that just come there, and you don't have to do anything. Okay? Um, and, of course, putting on your own art show. I do that all the time. I just invite all my friends and family over to my house and say, check out my latest art. Okay? Then there are galleries. I do not recommend approaching a gallery for quite some time. That's uh, later in the game, usually, until you are doing... Um, you, you have a bit of a name built up for yourself, a bit of a social media following, and you're doing, generally speaking, larger pieces. Not always, but larger pieces and definitely on high quality canvases with the highest quality materials. Um, but yeah, the, the galleries are definitely a bit later on. And I would recommend starting out with the easier ways first. Also, galleries are going to generally take about 50% of your profit there. So, they sell a painting for $1,000, you're going to get $500, they'll get $500. You have to think with that too. If you do your own art show, you get to keep all of it. But galleries are great because they do a lot of the work for you. So, it's, you know, definitely ups and downs to that. And then, of course, the third way with the merchandising. You can go on to Zazzle which is generally what I use, uh, Redbubble, and you can just have fun with it. You can create clocks, pillows, bags, t-shirts, cards, whatever you'd like. Um, so if you maybe can't ship for some reason, like you can't get to the post office and do shipping, you could create prints and whatnot on one of those sites, and then you don't have to even worry about shipping. So it's a way to immediately start making money from your art. All right, I hope these tips for today were helpful. Please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.